gosh. Shit. Be my wingman. Be my wing woman. Be my wing trans. And then we can play. Till then, I'm not into games. It's funny to me because the hard N-word is almost acceptable among white culture as the soft N-word is among the white youth to basically mean dude. We're almost to that point where the hard N-word is acceptable. In five, four, three, two, one, niggers. We got Dixit. This is a game that really kind of like uh, teaches you about empathy and intuition. We know that that's sorely needed in society because the levels of empathy, probably due to telomere attrition from younger dads, since 1979, has dropped by like 50 to 60 percent. So we need a little more empathy in society. A game like Dixit is really a spin off. It's another company, but it's a spin-off of Cards Against Humanity. Because it's the same deal, but with pictures. Which is funny to me, because the Cards Against Humanity people are really fucking stringent about their copyright shit, even though they ripped off apples to apples. Which is like the clean version of the rated R version. Two different companies. But you go on the GameCrafter.com, and there's a ton of these games where it's like exactly the same as Cards Against Humanity. But it might be a whole theme with like a thousand cards all about horses, which I think is the most boring idea ever. The second most boring idea ever. The first more, most boring game is like probably a collectible card game like Pokemon or... Uh, Magic the Gathering. To me, if, if you're not doing Magic the Gathering or like those old school Yu-Gi-Oh! or like whatever or Dominion, you're not, you're just playing a clone game. Basically, the only good collectible card games anymore are Magic the Gathering, which is still hot. It was hot when I was in junior high in 1993. It's 2019. It's still flaming. MTG is still fire. Uh, but then you got uh, Dominion, which is also pretty fire. Uh, the Spokane Community College has a library of things where you could check out things. And they got uh, um, Dominion. And they got a uh, fucking, uh, I know I'm not rated G. And I know I'm not rated X, because I'm not exposed to my penis. And they do allow this on YouTube. Fucking, uh, and all the kids are out there dropping that. Fucking, uh, the train game, that really popular train game that I'm forgetting. They got that. I don't. Why does that fucking escape me? It's probably because I don't own it. Uh, but Dixit, you know, it's a game where it teaches you about empathy and intuition because you're really trying to, like, put together what this story means. You got to play with three people so you have two judges so it's uh, equal. You put together, like, three cards. And trying to, like, you give a clue and trying to guess the story. You, you tell the story and get a clue, and you're trying to guess what was sort of, like, laid down. So, I mean, like, it's real abstract. It's a cute game. A lot of people like this game. I'll straight up call you a misogynistic bitch or a misandristic asshole. I don't know. You want it all equal, but if I can't call you a bitch, but you can call me an asshole, 
You want to call me a, a misandrist or a misogynist, I'll just call you the opposite. I'm clearly not a fucking Republican because I don't suck cock in my spare time. And I know how economics works more than like Mitch McConnell, Mitch the bitch. To me, I think like if we're going to like cut down trees, the only thing that we should cut down the trees for are making board games. But if we should do like, we, we should do it with hemp. We should grit a Thunberg it and just like do it all with hemp. It's legal in a lot of states now, a lot of hemp. That's some empathy, you know. Smoke some dro, play some Dixit, fuck some bitches, get with your niggas. Okay, Zoomer. Well, I'm not a boomer. Gen X here rocking the cock off. <laughs>